TikTok. I need your help. I need you to do what you do. And I need you to get me on medical TikTok so that we can get justice for a murdered two-year-old named Olivia Soto. This is the EMS report for Olivia Soto. One thing that sticks out to me is that the injury is listed as assault with bodily force. Have any of my paramedics seen that listed as the mechanism of injury on an EMS report? Then it says that Olivia Soto was found dead on arrival without any resuscitation attempts, but we know that CPR was done and we also know that defibrillator pads were used on her, which I'm not medical, but that sounds like a resuscitation attempt as well as CPR. But you guys tell me. One of the biggest questions that I have about this EMS report is the fact that there is a trauma band number on this EMS report. It is my understanding that a trauma band is only issued upon patient transport. That you would never issue a trauma band for a patient that is DOA. But clearly, she was issued a trauma band. The thing is, there is no trauma band on Olivia Soto in any of the crime scene photos. And despite the fact that everyone claims that she was not transported, she was DOA, the forensic pathologist that did her autopsy put on page eight of her autopsy report that medical aid was summoned and she was transported to the hospital. I could be crazy, but I don't think that a forensic pathologist that is conducting an autopsy on a murdered two-year-old is going to put that in the autopsy report without some type of documentation or indication that that was done. Then we have this refusal of treatment slash transport document that is attached to the EMS report filled out by a police officer at the scene. And the narrative that this officer wrote on this document that it's my understanding should not exist and should not have been filled out by a police officer states that she was DOA and he hand writes the trauma band number. This is the same officer, the same officer that put in his own police report that Olivia Soto was warm to the touch and that he performed CPR on her. I also would like if medical TikTok could help me out and tell me if it's weird that EMS only claims to have been at the scene for 33 minutes and that they arrived at 1222 in the afternoon, but didn't complete the paperwork for this incident until 1035 p.m. at night. Okay, TikTok, help me get justice for Olivia Soto. Do what you do.